Yo, this song is crazy. Me music is so good, y'all. Also, I'm allowed to say y'all because it is Pride Month. Mention people in your Twitch story. That's kind of crazy. Yo, when you mention people in the story, it links to their stream. That's crazy. Hi Kim, I Electra. Man, we got so many orange chatters. Hi guys, good morning. I'm I'm her lie. Face cam on in two minutes. You're up early, yeah. It's cause I gotta take my medicine at eight. And like I'm up at six anyway, but it's still like I hate eating that early. Too much orange, we need more purple. Keelan, but you're like an indigo, so that's not purple. Also, hi, Keelan. Can we get some yos? Hi, guys. Who is excited for more art content? Wait, I gotta make- Is there a pin chat? Shoot. Mods didn't add a pin chat. I need to fire them. Okay. Guys, exclamation point. Shop and chat. Blogging is coming soon. Make sure you bookmark my website, please. Because I'm not going to be posting art on social media, so the only place you're going to see my art is on Twitch and on the actual website. So guys, bookmark it. I'm putting the link right now. There we go. Finch out of the... Here, you know what? For the fans, face cam on. Hello. The music is so loud. Good morning. It, hopefully it's not afternoon for some of you guys. It is 8.45 a.m. on Sunday. June 9th. I'm up early. Early. I was gonna go live on the main channel today, but y'all, I told you guys the medicine was treating me well. Shit, it hits different at nighttime. Holy fuck. Wait, I swear in the five minutes we're gonna get demonetized. Anyway, it was scary. Because <laughs> when you're on blood thinners, for context, I have a blood clot. Oopsie, so I'm on medication for the next month ish. Hopefully it clears up so I don't have to stay on it, but I took my evening medicine because you gotta take it twice a day for the first three weeks, and everything was good throughout the day, but what I learned is that if you're on blood thinners, you're more susceptible to heat stroke, which is not good. Y'all know the AC's been busted for the past year now, and yesterday it got to like 80 degrees inside our unit, which is, uh-oh. So... You know, I gotta be drinking a lot more water the other day. And it's wild because the way blood thinners work, it affects the way your body like uses water. So I didn't sweat at all yesterday. It was crazy. Like I went out to the library after the stream and I was hot, but I wasn't sweating. It was crazy. So I looked it up when I got home. I was like, oh, that's why. So I just had to be drinking a lot more water. I'm also going to try and reach out to the landlord again and ask if he can fix the AC. Because I looked it up, and in Washington State, it's only required for tenants to have air conditioning if they are in a senior living home. And then there's no accommodations if you're disabled or if you have medication for AC. 
Um, the most the landlord can do is like maybe buy you like an in-window unit, but we got all the windows open. We got multiple fans. I got a fan in my room, fan right outside my door, so like I'm fine. Isn't your landlord your friend's parents? Yeah, he is, but like, uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's no drama, but like, how do I say this nicely? He's nice, but he's like kind of clueless. <laughs> but like, I want to say something, but it's like I don't want to tell him that I'm on medication because obviously, like, even if they're like a friend, like you don't want to share that shit. So I have to figure out what my rights are. So. And my feet started swelling up, and I was like, uh-oh. But that's, like, normal. It's wild. You guys can't see it, like, on camera. But, like, my veins, you can see them. Like, they're blue and shit. I was like, I look like I'm um, yoded. But I just, that's why I didn't go live on the main channel today. Because I was like, you know, I need another day to, like, see how I feel. Like, otherwise I feel fine so far. But I've been drinking lots of water. Okay. Okay, Avatar. Okay, I was gonna make that joke, but I'm not that blue. I had, like, I had a huge vein here, and I thought it was a bruise. L like, you can kind of see it. Look at that. That's the fucking vein. <laughs> My god. Yeah, so that's a little life update. Uh, tomorrow is... Oh, yeah, tomorrow. I probably can't stream tomorrow, because I gotta pick shit up. I also want to mail the painting tomorrow. Because when I mail artwork or anything for the art channel, I, I, my P.O. box is a few towns away, so it takes a bit to get there. But, yeah, so I should be live again on the main channel tomorrow. Yeah, I was like, I can either finish the painting today or Tuesday. So I was like, shit, I should do it today. That way you can have ample time to dry and stuff and not be delayed. Oh, yeah, today's drink of choice is Suja. I saw this at the shop. Hopefully it's good. You know, I hate buying new drinks. You never know if they're good or not. It's not that I'm, like, picky, but... If something is off, I don't like it. Ooh! It smells good. So it says it has water, strawberry, lemon, and honey. Paired with tart cherry, stevia. Oh, stevia is sugar. And probiotics. It smells like straight-up honey. Wait, the, wait, maybe this bangs. Ooh. I like it, but not as much as the other brand that I've been having. Oh, it's it's weird, because, like, the juice is thin, but, like, a little film of honey is on your tongue. Uh, uh, the taste is nice, but the honey texture is kind of not it. <laughs> Wait, can I VIP people in this channel? I was thinking about it. What if we VIP anybody who buys a painting? Should we do, like, elitism in the chat room? We'll talk about it later. Okay, anyway, let's get started. The plan is simple. We are finishing order number 1002. It is the circuit board painting. Yesterday, after almost four hours, I beat my PB. We got all the green layers done. As you can see, I let it dry overnight. The colors are super opaque. Wait, I was gonna scratch it. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but yeah. Man, I love the house paint so much. I'm a sucker for, like, flat coloring. So today we're gonna be adding the chrome varnish layer. And then also adding the black details. That is the plan today. It should take... About four to five hours. The actual line work should be a bit easier because we do have a little bit of paint down as a guide. So my guess is today, I'm probably gonna go a bit slower because I am tired. My guess, today's run is going to take, oh wait, you guys can see the guide on the PNG YouTuber. My guess is four minutes and or four minutes, four hours and five minutes. So finishing at 
7.56 total time. That's my guess. 7.56? Put your guesses in the chat. What time do you think the live split will end? Also, guys, if you're new here, for some reason and you're watching, I'll um, click the follow button and you get to type a chat. Isn't that crazy? The last person who got a painting? Maybe, maybe we could do that. We'll, we'll talk about it later. I want you guys to ponder. I think I can. Wait, can I VIP in this channel? I should be able to. Yo, I can! Mm-hmm. At 9.20? You think it's gonna take me five and a half hours? Bruh. You don't know me, bitch. Okay. Let's get started. So I'm gonna explain what I do, what I'm going to do, and then I'll start the timer because I don't want to add to my time. So to make the mica varnish, guys, do not copy. You are going to be using varnish. So I personally use Liquitex. It's... It's in between expensive and cheap, but it's consistently pretty well. It dries clear in the bottle. You can't see. <laughs> it's like a glue color. It's kind of clear, but it, or it's like a, it's kind of foggy, but it dries clear. Um, so I mix the varnish with mica powders. And the cool thing about varnish is that it's meant to be a sealant. So whenever you mix in the mica powders with the varnish, the powder does not fall off which is huge. Um, it would act differently if you're using glitter because glitter is larger pieces of like plastic and glass. So, mica powders go crazy. That's the ratio, oh no. <laughs> um, in order to fill this whole bottle, you would probably need to use like maybe six of this size bottle for this. I only mix the varnishes per painting because you obviously can't leave varnish sitting out because it dries really quickly and if I ever get to a point where like I would need a whole bottle of varnish mix then I would pre-mix it but if you I have tested like pre-mixing varnish with powders but the powder like kind of sinks to the bottom of the bottle because I tried like little smaller glass bottles of pre-mixing so it's just better to mix as you need to make it is what I've learned okay so, when you're handling mica powders, they won't go into your skin, thankfully, but you should still wear gloves, that way you're not, like, getting glitter all over yourself. Also, since this is a fine powder, um, it's not required to wear a mask, but I would recommend wearing a respirator or even, like, a simple surgical. That way, like, if you do accidentally, like, sneeze or something, or, like, take a big sniff, you don't, like, huff it in. You know, they're not toxic, but, like... Still, you don't want it in your system. So today, I will be wearing a mask during this section. Hell yeah, brother. I mean, hell no, brother. Um, I have all the windows and fans open, so do not worry. I am being very safe right now. Also, um, this is varnish. This is not um, resin. The reason why I don't work with resin is because resin yellows more over time than varnish does and also resin it's very toxic to breathe in so you need like a full respirator when you're using resin so i don't want to mess with that so that's why i choose varnish and also varnish goes on easier it's a bit thinner okay i got my mask on who's ready type one timer's begun okay so the varnish for this piece is only going to cover the green section, so we're not going to need a whole bunch. I'm probably only going to need like a tablespoon to two of actual varnish mixture. Because to cover a whole canvas, it takes about four tablespoons of varnish. I don't know why I sound so nervous. <laughs> um, notice how I labeled on my brush powder? It's because no matter what you do, since the micro powders are so fine, they will always stay in your brush. So if you're going to be working with it, um, have separate brushes. Like You can use tape, you can write on them, but don't mix your mica powders with your normal brushes because you don't want to get mica powders in your acrylics and you don't want to get acrylics in your mica powders. And when you're working with varnish, you can use different types of brush. This is a plastic brush. I don't care if I throw these away. They're cheapy. Um, but when the varnish dries, it becomes very brittle. You, I don't know if you can see, but... It doesn't like it's not as smooth as like a horse brush 
And in order to wash all varnish from a brush, you have to work quickly and then run it under hot, hot water to get as much of the varnish out before it dries between the bristles. Okay, so a little less of a varnish. So I'm going to pour about two-ish tablespoons into my palette. Oh wait, I should explain what colors I'm using. So for the circuit board painting, it's a gold to green finish. Today I'm using Let's Resin from Amazon, medium price point. So they have a iridescent collection. So it's like color shifts. So it'll be like blue to purple, pink to yellow. I'm going to use the gold to green and then also mixing in some just regular gold iridescent powder because since the design I'm coloring over is green. If you add too much green, it'll it won't stand as out as much if you have more yellow. So like for example, if I'm varnishing paint that is purple, if I want to do like a red to blue shift, or sorry, a red to purple shift, I would put more red because purple is already on the canvas. Okay, let's get to work. Now this paint palette I use just for varnish now. Yeah, that's about two tablespoons. I don't measure. I know some artists will like measure, but I don't, I don't care. Okay, I'm also going to be using a paint scraper. This is my mom's. She wrote Daiso on it. <laughs> I copped it when I moved out. You know what? Honestly, screw her. <laughs> two shots of vodka. <laughs> okay, I don't know the ratio for the mic. Well, look at that shine. Holy. I don't know the exact ratio. You know, this feels like I'm scooping something else. But with mica powders, specifically with the varnish, the more the better. The more powder you add, the more shimmer you will get. The only demerit to adding more mica powders is that it makes the varnish a bit gloopy. I need to like actually write down like the ratio of <laughs> mica powder to varnish, but you know, I don't care. You know, every piece is different. Okay, so I'm adding gold now. Now we mix. When you're mixing, because you can see the clumps of powder. Gotta make sure to break up all your clumps. It feels like I'm making a slime video. Okay, I don't want to tilt it too much. You can see the subtle shine. It's a lot more prominent in person or under yellow light. Right now my ring lights are on a medium, so it's like a bluey yellow light. But the mica powders look insane under natural light. But don't put your paintings outside, please. Don't do that. The I think the best way to describe the mica look is the hollow taco polish. It reflects differently in different light sources. Okay. I need to clear my station a little bit. So the varnish takes about like five minutes to dry on the canvas once it's on, but in the palette, it's usually usable for like 10 to 20. So you have to act quickly, but you don't gotta like freak out and like speed run. Okay, now to put the sparkle on. Now, when you're working with the varnish, you do have to be mindful of which way you're brushing. Because if you don't put an even enough layer, the varnish, you will see brush strokes. So it's fine if I am brushing over the white parts because that will be covered with black at the end. Okay, you can see. Oh, look at that. Already. You can see the gloss on it.
So you have to work quickly when you're placing it on the actual canvas. Because since I'm putting very, very, very thin layers, brush strokes will dry. I love that, thank you. Okay, I think I made a little bit extra varnish, but you know what? That's okay. It's better to have more than less. Okay. There we go. First section done. For a lot of the abstract pieces, I personally love mixing the matte and the varnish sections because it already just creates a contrast. Like, aesthetically, I think the circuit board is one of the better executed ones because the green part is varnished and then the black part is matte, so the green sticks out so much more. Also, I have my windows open. If you hear a motorcycle, no, you don't. It's my sugar daddy leaving. <laughs> Miss this section entirely, jeez. You do have to be mindful where you're putting your hands because if you use your hands and it touches the varnish, it will leave a thumbprint. What's nice about the varnish is that you can easily see where you didn't place any because it's glossy. That's why you see me going like this because my light source is this way. I've used about half of my varnish that I prepped. So making two tablespoons was probably just the right amount, if not a little bit more than I need. Now when I'm dipping my varnish, I'm only dipping it in the tip of my brush. Because the more you put in like the upper part, you're not going to use it because I'm not like placing my brush entirely flat. I noticed when I only put material, like paint or the varnish on the tip, I... Uh, I... I... Have a bit more control. <laughs> Guys, follow the channel for more jokes. <laughs> you should have charged your sugar daddy a starting free. Yeah, he gives me like a thousand bucks every day. You can imagine. Like, I know I, a lot of guys complain about, like, oh, women just want items, they just want money, but you know what? Money's good! Peace yesterday. I never lose focus when I'm talking. Okay, that was a hyperbole, or a joke, obviously. I mean, I, I think I'm good at yapping and and doing stuff, like multitasking. Who doesn't want money? Let's be real. I know, right? Like, money is nice. Okay, I'm using the very last of my varnish. Man, this is perfect. I have like barely, like none, no varnish left over. That's huge. Man, I'm so good at this. Guys, use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your purchase today! Today! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Okay, this is hurting my wrist a little bit. <laughs> like holding it like this. Okay, I'm going to look over. The only demerit about this varnish is that sometimes 
it resists on top of the house paint in some sections. So kind of like when you do a crane resist. But it looks like this one's fine. Usually if your paint layers aren't completely um, even, that's when it resists a little bit more. Okay, I missed a section over here. Uh-oh, I caught it though. Yeah, right now I'm looking over every single section. Money can buy happiness. There has been studies that have shown that money doesn't necessarily buy happiness, but it does reduce people's stress levels, which does lead to more mental happiness. I think it's because people associate money with material, when in reality, money means stability and livelihood. Okay. So the varnish is completely covered, all the green details. Oh, that looks crazy. So this is the amount of glimmer and glare you'll see under, like, direct light. It won't look as, like, flash-bangy under ambient light. So I'm gonna go wash my palette. So, guys, no bad words. Also, now that I'm done working with the powders, I can take my mask off. Hell yeah, brother. Can I say the P word here? You just got another warning in the chat room? Didn't the P word joke start here on this channel where like I banned Crystal? <laughs> Okay, so I got some hot water for my regular paints. We gotta wait another like five minutes for the varnish to dry. It does dry within like five-ish minutes, but you should wait like 10 to 15 so it fully dries. So. Um. How are you guys today, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna have reduce. Did you guys watch my YouTube video that was posted yesterday? It's funny. I didn't have any time throughout last week to edit the how gay am I stream. So I edited it on Thursday. No, Friday. And... I was waiting for the past few days to, like, pick up my medication. Because, like, I kept calling my pharmacy, and they're like, It's not ready, Peace, and it's not ready. It's day three, it's still not ready. So I called Friday, and they're like, Hey, Peace, and it's ready. I was like, oh my god. So, I, like, finish the edit, I export it, I go pick up my medicine. I upload the video, and then I watch it on Saturday morning, when, it, when it's posted. And I was like, shit, I forgot background music. <laughs> It's like, I was too busy rushing to go to the pharmacy. I was like, shit! I have to fire the editor down. Work has been wild for the past three days because of Swifty fans? Wait, the Swifties are going to KFC? What? 
What? <laughs> Are they doing a collab? I'm just touching it to see. You should tell the Swifties that she hates KFC. <laughs> I don't know any Taylor Swift lore. Should I be cancelled for that? Top one. Oh, maybe there's like a concert or something? Yeah, that'd be funny. Nah, but if you say that shit, Keelan, they'll probably like film you and put you on TikTok or something. I'm noticing there's like a little bump on the canvas but the canvas was like this it looks like a little pimple of paint I want to pop it but I shouldn't um Kim just pretend that's not there I don't know if you can even see it I <laughs> can't wait to touch it Yeah, you can't see it when you're look. Oh, uh, you can. Oh, wait, you can kind of see it. You can see a little highlight there. You, you, won't, you, won't, you won't see it when it's on your wall. Oh, uh, I was right. There is a concert. Remember when Potato said he was going to eat his painting? Okay, it's been another five minutes. I saw some fans walk in there at 10 when the concert was supposed to start at 7. That's crazy. Why do you need to get- that's insane! That's like your whole day! Yeah, I don't love any celebrity that much. I would only do that if I'm trying to get like the new Nintendo Switch. Wait, did you guys hear the rumors about the Switch Joy-Cons on the new console being magnetic? That seems so stupid. What about people who have, like... What's it called when you have, like, an artificial thing that beats your heart? I almost said AED, but that's the thing that, that goes kajong. Guys, follow the channel. Do it now. Pacemaker, that's it. <laughs> okay. I would have never remembered. <laughs> no, but the magnet idea is so dumb, because it'd have to be a super strong magnet. <laughs> I'm gonna attach the Joy-Cons to my glasses and be like, where are they? That's funny. What if they made, like, VR headset, but for Switch console? Like, okay, imagine- wait. Like, imagine this is your face, right? And you just hold the Switch to your face like this. Dude, I do not look good from a bird's eye view. <laughs> Didn't they already do that with the cardboard lab? Oh, wait, did they? Shit. They're stealing my ideas. Okay. I gotta clear my station a little bit. I could've been doing that during the five minutes. Also, I got my stress ball. I was watching back the VOD where I, where I took up the stress ball, the Pokemon one, and do it, it sounds. Not good. <laughs> I 
I do wonder if in a few years, like, once VR is studied more, like, it's gonna fuck up all our eyes. It's- <laughs> stop it. What's mac and cheese? Okay. Now, we can start on the black layer. I did pre-mix this. This is black liqueur. So this shade of black has a slightly purpley hue. So I either need to do two or three layers. Because usually naturally, black will have a bluish hint or indigo, but this one has a purpley hue. And you know, I don't want to spend another five bucks on another one. Maybe next month's budget will allow me to buy more paint. Okay. I'm gonna start on this side because this varnish is more wet, even though it's dry, but it's like a little bit tacky still. Guys, um, go bookmark the website. Use code Twitch10 right now. The most recent person who buys a painting after today gets VIP. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that was almost one clean stroke. Now, this is when it becomes very important that my line work is clean. Because getting black on top of the varnish, you can wipe it off, but it will still leave a residue. So I have to be very, very careful. lean so far. I literally got my tongue out and shit as I'm focusing. I'm like an anime character. Lean. I gotta grab a band-aid. I forgot to get one earlier. Meow me day.
Bang. Today's bandage just has Hello Kitty on it. Let's get back to work. Had y'all ever had cranes? Like a forklift operator type crane or? Huh? It's a food place? Oh. I think my answer is no. The only restaurants I had tried prior to becoming 18 was fast food, so only McDonald's, Wendy's, and Jack in the Box, and then the Old Country Buffet. I literally had never been to any other restaurant. Oh wait, Red Robin one time. That was for like a friend's birthday. Like our, our parents never took us out. People go crazy for a mid sauce, it's wild. You know, I know everybody was clowning on Chick fil A sauce, but that shit is good. They have to put like cocaine in it or something. I do really appreciate how most chains are offering like bottled versions of their sauces you can get at the shop. Like, I've seen Chick fil A, I've seen Buffalo Wild Wings. They probably do that so people don't grab like 20 sauce packets from their dining tables, you know? KFC sauces are so mid. I've only been to KFC like three times because every time I go, I'm like, man, this looks good. But then I look at the menu and everything is so freaking expensive. I don't get it. And like KFC, I'll say it, is like the worst fast food chicken. 
Like, after trying Popeyes and Jollibee's, I ain't never going back to KFC. The American shit? Trash. Oh wait, I guess Popeyes is like Louisiana Kitchen branded. But Jollibee's is so good. When are we gonna have the Subway RPG live stream? I've thought about that. I will do that stream if I ever have an office space and I have like staff. I think that'd be really funny. Be like, I send out an email to everybody. Be like, guys, tomorrow's lunch will be catered. And then they walk into like the work kitchen and it's just me. <laughs> I, I think that would make sense because then I would be like, then I could like actually take orders. We can make a line. Like a line set up. Because, like, doing it now would be kind of silly and wasteful because my other roommates don't like sandwiches. That's lame. Okay. I got, like, 20 bucks in my checking account. That's not in the budget. Oh, my God. Ain't no way. Thank you for the follow. Plus one. Wait, we know this guy. I'll let you chat. Hi, Gray. Say hi or I'll ban you. <laughs> You get a free meal per shift. I mean, I think it's standard for like restaurants to offer like a free meal. Oh, I was talking to Keelan. Well, next time at Keelan. Otherwise, I just assume you're talking to me. Hi, Gray. Can we get some yos? I was kidding about banning you. You can lurk if you want. But hello, this is my second channel. I got an order on the website, so we're painting it live. W, Kim. <laughs> At Peace and Art. Sorry, Peace. You're forgiven, Kim. Yeah, when I was at Subway, we got one free sandwich every day. And we could have any sandwich we wanted. So, like, even the expensive ones, like the steak, or when we had the garlic cheesy bread... I think it's because my franchisee didn't know how to, like, code the menu properly. <laughs> but you know what? We love her for that. I'm gonna go make a nasty breakfast sandwich. No, the strawberry tree cream cheese sounds good. Guys, does a bagel with strawberry cream cheese and egg sound good? I think it sounds kind of like... Uh, wait, I think intriguing is the best word. Strawberry cream cheese, my beloved. I know it's so good. I just love cream cheese. I'm so sad I'm not allowed to have it anymore. I'm tempted, because at Winkle, instead of having their bakery right when you walk in, it's at the end. So, like, as you're heading towards the checkouts, you pass the bakery section, and I... Whenever I go in the morning, that's when they're putting all the stuff on the shelves, and oh my god, it smells so good. If I didn't work at KFC, I wouldn't eat there. It's legit way too expensive. Admit, I hope my boss sees this. <laughs> like, imagine. I know we joke all the time about like, I hope so-and-so doesn't watch the stream, but like, what if they did? 
Like, imagine. If you wipe the paint away in time, you don't see it, but then it gets on your fingies. Also great, if you're still in chat, how did you find this channel? Because I don't talk about this channel often. The big reason why I don't like push my art stuff too much on my main Twitch channel is because like I don't want to feel like a GFX account. When they're like, I stream on Twitch, but I make VTuber models. You know, I don't want to be the streamer to artist pipeline. I saw it on your Instagram. Okay, that's good. That's what I thought. Because I, I forgot to- because I streamed on this channel yesterday, but I forgot to post an IG. Because what's nice about IG stories is that you can actually put links. It's the only site that, like, lets you put apps- or, sorry, lets you put links in app. Besides Twitter. That's very good. But thank you, Gray. I'm planning on doing- weekly streams on this channel since the website is relaunching and then anytime i get a painting order i will paint a lot i hope you're doing better and recovering well thank you hon i'm doing a lot better today i started my medication yesterday there are some side effects but they're manageable so i'm doing a lot better um guys follow the channel if you follow i will say hi to you right now hell yeah don't post about health stuff because since I have a chronic illness like every day is a struggle sometimes but I usually will share whenever like something more major happens because I think some level of transparency is good but I, I don't ever want anybody to feel like sorry or bad for me Like, if y'all ever see me, like, start farming my disability, then that's when it's like, hey, peace, and what's going on? You know, call me out on it. Like, if I ever go on a TikTok live begging, it's either I'm really struggling or I'm farming. I do think it's very unethical when, like, parents post about their kids' disabilities. Whether it be, like, a learning or physical disability. Because, like, the kid can't consent to that. And the kid doesn't really know what's going on, for the most part. Like, I talk about my sister sometimes, but anything that I've shared on stream, she's fine with me talking about. Because she understands that, like... Her experiences also shape mine. You know, if we want to stop seeing TikTok lives of parents farming their disabled children, we just need the government to give them more subsidies. 
but just in general, it's a lot easier for kids with disabilities to have access to resources. I don't trust like 95% of family or children vlog channels. Oh, definitely. I think YouTube should ban like family vlog channels. I'm not even kidding. I know people are advocating for like national legislation in the states for like child labor laws for like family vloggers and that just makes sense. Because if you're doing a vlog channel, you're filming. You're basically doing like documentary work. It, it, they should be compensated, they should be given like labor protections. I think it's because not a lot of people see YouTube as a job because like typically you're not like a registered like LLC or entertainment company until you like make it big. I can't name one good family channel. Yeah, because I don't watch any. I only the only time I see a family blog channel is when they're like so and so family exposed. That's like literally the only time. I think it's dumb how you're not allowed to have a channel till you're 13. Uh, I kind of understand that terms of service move. Because if you're a minor, or if you know anybody who's a minor who uses the internet, you do have to be kind of careful what you post. Because you never know like what genuine creeps or freaks are out there watching you. I can understand the argument of like, yeah, what if I'm like 12 and I'm cracked at Fortnite? Like, I want to get a bag. Or wait, no. Oh, what if I'm 12 and I'm cracked at Fortnite? That's probably the better voice for it. Like, yeah. If you want to make shit, then maybe make shit, but don't post it, you know? Like, if you want to be a, a pro gamer, you can still like practice, but just don't post. Because when you're, when you're a teenager... Your brain is not fully developed. Your brain is not developed till like you're fucking 25. My brain is developed! <laughs> I turned 25 this year. <laughs> but like, you don't understand the potential consequences of all your actions, I think. I really wish YouTube was more strict on the rules because so many children have stepped forward about those channels and their harm. Exactly. I see people who were firmly on vlog channels on TikTok all the time talking about their experience and it's really sad. Because the huge issue with like vlog channels in particular is that the kid will do most anything the parent says because it's their parent. Like the kid under most any circumstance will have like undying love and forgiveness for their parent because that's their caretaker, that's the one who teaches them everything. When vice versa, like, the kid inherently does not know how to explain. I just became a grown-up. I turned 25. Happy birthday. Like, when I was a teenager, I didn't go on social media because I, I knew. Like, I was on the internet, but I didn't do social media at all because I knew what could happen if I started posting if I was younger. Like, literally my oh wait i posted art i never showed my face on social media like i had a tumblr i had an instagram but i only posted art i didn't post my face at all like the first time i ever posted my face was when i turned 18. Because I think when it comes to online spaces, you can do everything in your power to present yourself as good, to try and do the right thing, to post good things, but you never know how somebody will change or exploit it. Especially with AI, like, it's really fucking gross.
I personally am not too scared or concerned for myself. Because, you know, I'm an adult. I know what I post. If someone manipulates it, I could easily say it's not me. Like, it's still sad if that ever did happen. But at least I'm going into said situation or space with that knowledge. Like the whole a track situation. Can I say this? I always had a weird feeling about a track. I never watched him, but I always knew something was sus. about 45 minutes in. I think for the black line so far, it's been 20 minutes. Not too bad. Usually the line work does take the longest. Yeah, when I went to the library, I put a few books on hold about stained glass. I'm not going to make stained glass, but I kind of want to learn the style of it. Because stained glass work is characterized by abstract illustrations and the way the shapes are very round. Not a lot of rigid, a lot of curved lines, some straight lines. And then I also checked out a book about mosaic. I don't want to make mosaic because... It's like a, another very tactical art style, like um, stained glasses. But I want to learn a style of mosaic. Because both mosaic and stained artwork is a lot of flat color. So that would be a style 
easier to emulate with like a, a matte paint and then a gloss or a varnish. We have a lot of mosaic work throughout my area. My mom was gonna like get into mosaics. Like she was gonna try and make like a like a full mosaic tile in her garden, but then she bailed because it was too hard. <laughs> I still have my library card from when I was like a little kid, but since I moved counties, I can't use it no more. But there's so much cool stuff at your local library. See what resources they have available. And yes, I did try to riz the workers yesterday and see if they were hiring. They said no. I tried. I made the mistake of picking up my hold books before like walking around the library because I checked out four thick ass books about stained glass. <laughs> so I'm walking around carrying like 15 pounds of books in my hands. <laughs> I could have asked them to keep it at the counter but I forgot. <laughs> I felt like I looked so silly. But you know that was just my arm workout for yesterday. I also kind of want to learn how to do tarot cards. Not like practice tarot cards, but like learn the illustration style. So the other day, I went to this shop and it was like one of those shops for like crystal mommies. So they had books about like witchcraft and stones and all this other cool stuff. But the only books they had about tarot cards were like how to use tarot cards. So I was kind of disappointed. And I felt so sus so walking around the shop because like everything in that little shop I went to is like $20 minimum. <laughs> so like, I'm just walking through, I didn't buy anything. So I felt so like bad walking out. Cause I had, cause I've come to a point, you know, as a brokey and you know, also like just trying to save money. It's like, if I go somewhere, if I don't need anything, I don't buy anything. I'm not gonna pity buy anything. If I go to the corner store and I don't see any snacks and don't like, I walk out. I don't care if I look suspicious. But yeah, all the employees were like side-eyeing me in that little crystal mommy shop. Guys, the rumors are true. Whoever buys a painting next gets a VIP. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> People thirst for VIP so much. Okay, granted, I do. I ask Rainy Day Games for VIP in her chat room every day. But it's legit because she forgot to re-VIP me. And I swear she's just cucking me on purpose. Guys, if we see Radiant Chat, do not bring this up to her, please.
I just splattered water all over. Ah, it's fine, it'll dry. What's the cookie of the week? Your mother's a pretty nice cookie. <laughs> I don't know, it's Sunday. There's no new crumble cookies. They're close. Wait, it's Sunday, right? Yeah, it's Sunday. My brush keeps hitting my mic, lo siento.
messed up that entire line. Also, I told my ex about your proposed plan about the Mario Kart game. They said no. <laughs> Wait, why are you texting your ex? <laughs> You know what you should do? Can't you, like, report people if they steal your property? The Mario Kart game is like 60 bucks nowadays. I'm not gonna rebuy it. Oh, but then you can never play Mario Kart with this again. Dude, I don't get why people, like, keep shit during- after a breakup. Like, I don't get it. Like, when I ended up- or I didn't end it. <laughs> when a previous relationship ended, I literally gave all their shit back the next day. They were like, you can keep some of this stuff. I'm like, no, if it's yours, I want you to keep it. Also, like, I didn't leave my sweater at their place or anything. I wasn't that type of toxic bitch. I didn't play games like that. But, like, I wasn't the type of person to leave things at their house. Like, if I ever went there and, like, left clothes there for, like... <laughs> for... <laughs> like, if we had a sleepover. I never, like, left clothes at their place for, like, the next time I visit. I never did that. Because, like, what if they put my shirt in the wrong dryer cycle? I don't know, this is like one of those depressing things, but like, I don't want people to remember me by things. It's not that I don't want to be remembered, I just don't... Like, I know I get sad if I have tokens or mementos from somebody that I no longer talk to, and I look at it and it makes me sad. But also, my love language is gifting, or gift giving. It's a conundrum. You know, I've been watching those BuzzFeed videos, and I have an avoidant attachment style. So that means I get very attached, and I'm also like really distant. I'm toxic, I've learned. Water check. Guys, drink your water. I'm on pace to finish this. 
Probably by 7 hours and 30 minutes. Found where I splashed water. <laughs> I thought I had paint on the back of my hand, but there's a huge blob here. Oopsie.
about three quarters done with the first line work. Am I a breakfast girly? I don't like eating breakfast. I usually like eating at like 10 or 11. But breakfast food is the best food. It's comfort to me. I think the best breakfast item is Eggs Benedict. Nothing will top it. Because it just feels fancy. Yeah, I'm not talking as much today. Because since I'm adding the paint layer after varnish, I have to be a lot more careful. Because you'll see me like smudge off some of the black if I mess up a line. I think I've done that like five times. That's a lot less than I normally would do by this point. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I'm locked in. Because what's good about the varnish is that it's a little bit water resistant, so you can still paint on top of it and get a decently opaque layer of paint, but it won't like absorb into the canvas as if it were like you're adding paint on top of paint. This sounds like Bowser music.
Now that whole line is crooked. Ooh. Ew. Yeah, you're right, the line wasn't straight. Hashtag pride. <laughs> I was gonna review the pride collection from Target on stream, but then I saw a whole bunch of TikToks from like creatives who actually worked on some of the art in the campaign for this year. And a lot of them were saying that Target, like, changed their designs to make them more, like, neutral or, like, not super pride, if that makes sense. Like, I saw this one girl, or NB, I don't know. I saw this one girl <laughs> who had this mug design. And, like, the first line on top of the mug was, like, a generic quote. And then the second part was, like, relating the quote to queer people. And Target just removed the line related that to queer people. So I was like, oh, maybe Target's just being really shitted this year. Because like, I was I I previewed some of them, like I pre-wrote some of the jokes I could have written. And I was like, you know, this doesn't seem like too pride. I was like, this seems like I'm not out of the closet, but I want to be an ally type pride beat. And I was like, oh. Maybe that's why. <laughs> so, I don't think I'm gonna review this here. Um, guys, follow the channel. Do it now. Um, Kim, you said a bad word. You're gonna get a warning for that. Where are you? Kim said a swear word. No cursing. <laughs> Dude, the warnings are so funny. <laughs> I've only seen people review it on like TikTok and stuff. I haven't gone to Target in I think six months. And the last time I went to Target, I I was waiting for my bus and I got bored, so I was like shit, I might as well like look. In my defense, we're shit talking. Yeah, I know. Cut. I just don't want bad words in the vod. YouTube gets really mad. And also, this is a wholesome chat room. No swearing. I would never swear. Wait, I- okay, I just had a banger stream idea. Stream idea. I, I need to finish this line. And I'll talk about it. You know how a bunch of, like, YouTubers or online creators have, like, collab merch? So, like, they'll have, like, a water bottle. Or a gamer chair that's themed after their likeness or, like, their style. What if- <laughs> What if we did a stream? Where I designed, like, fake collab merch. And then, I actually make it. And we do that as series. Wait, that could be kind of funny. Like, making, like, a piece in Nike collab? Wait, is Nike cancelled? I don't remember. <laughs> or, like, painting, like, a piece in gaming chair? I think that could be kind of cool. Wait, that, that could be a banger idea. And then I make like a fake commercial like launching all the collab merch that's not happening. Wait, I kind of like that. That would take a lot of work though.
We'll save that one for the books. I could like design my own gamer subs cup. Yeah, like it could be the Christmas special. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that actually be a banger idea during Christmas, or like, or maybe like Black Friday. Hmm, trying to think of how I can do this now. I'm replacing Mag? Okay, well I came up with the idea, you bounced off of it. There's a big difference there. something <laughs> see i think this idea would be good for like if i ever do actually have a sponsor because imagine opening shot it's a meeting room we're pitching merch idea collabs and then we make the fake collabs like as prototypes and then we have somebody burst through the doors and then that's the actual collab i'm doing okay now for the opposite line art This song is played so many times. Saucer Snap Intro. Let's do Nintendogs. Yeah, I was looking at the video, and like... It's a three hour compilation, but the timestamps only went up to two hours. So maybe the upload is busted? I don't know. This feels really quiet.
Do you ever forget what day of the week it is? Yeah. All the time. It's because I don't have like a set schedule anymore. And I don't have like- I don't give myself a set day off usually. Because even on the days where I don't stream, I usually still do some computer work or still post. But I don't mind it. Keeps me busy. But in order to counteract that, I do have to put like reminders on my phone now. Like if I have appointments or anything. I can't do a calendar. I have to have like alarms and alerts. You know, this one's really loud. Man, I hate when people don't mix their music well. Sorry, I left at the dog park. <laughs> and no, I'm not gonna bark for the chat room. I can meow, but I can't bark. Your doctor's a butt for not processing the referral? Dude, I fucking know. It's pissing me the fuck off. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna, like, die, so that's probably why I'm not in queue. But, they must have been out like, last week. They're like, okay, we understand your concerns. Like, it is really weird that it's been three months for us to process this, but we're like, we'll put it as high priority. I was like, okay, but... Oh, well. Nothing I can do. What am I gonna do? I think I just need like a personal doctor, that's what I want. If I become mega, 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 mega rich, I'll just hire an uh, on call doctor. <laughs> All I gotta do is send an email? I know. Like, the intern is really fucking up. You should start working there so it'll process faster. <laughs> yeah, I spent eight years in medical school. Do my residency only to fax a single. Oh my god, this music. Yo. Mixing my paint.
Yeah, I got scared, Kim. I was like, why would you sell it? <laughs> um, I debated about Facebook Marketplace. I don't know. I've debated. Because I know it has a greater market. But... I don't know. You will get old people who love art. True. That is very true. My only concern would be like, what influx in sales would I potentially have? Because if it takes me an average of eight hours per piece, I don't know. I don't like Facebook though. <laughs> Every time I look up like or I, I find a video that's about art on Facebook, there's so many people ragging it in the comments. It makes me really sad. Maybe I would sell on Facebook Marketplace. My only concern about like selling directly on social media sites is similar to what I talked about yesterday about like the whole like capitalist nature behind that and intent. But another reason is I don't think somebody should impulse buy art. Because that's what social media wants people to do. They want you to see something and buy it. Like, I wouldn't want anybody buying my stuff and regretting buying it. I don't know how I feel about buying food on Facebook. It feels fishy. Oh yeah, for sure. I wouldn't- I mean, I've only used Facebook Marketplace to, like, look around for fun. My parents used to buy, like, a bunch of that secondhand stuff, like furniture or... Like, mechanic stuff. I don't know, I'm very insular by nature. I'd rather just do everything myself. I think if I ever want to sell on social media, I would want a social media manager. I know it would already be stressful, like, managing, like, blogging, posting for the art along the stream. So if I ever did want to expand the art stuff, I would need a team. And the money to support that would either come from art sales or stream revenue. Like, I think the idea of having, like, a one-man deal is kind of cool, but 
It's not sustainable or realistic. That's why so many of the Etsy girlies quit after a year. They can't do it. Wait, but if I did Facebook Marketplace? I know Facebook scalp stuff for AI. I know that. Were these scalp shop listings? They probably would. Facebook is scum. Guys, follow the channel. Click follow right now. And I'll say hi to you. I'm not even kidding. Water break. No, but imagine I sell on Facebook. And then people resell it. ban the reselling of their work i've been looking i haven't looked into that because all my pieces come with a certificate of authenticity sell it to my kids? Wait, I thought it was gonna be a gift. What the hell? You're scamming them now. Are you gonna make them use their allowance money? growing up. I just had to do chores just because. But the way prices are going though with bad inflation, you're gonna need to start giving your kids like $200 allowance a week. Get out of the coach. <laughs> and hopefully in 20 years we'll have pre-college, right? Surely.
Bless me. Are you ever ashamed to return stuff that you used but didn't like? Oh, I never return shit. I never return it. Thankfully, nothing I've bought has been, like, broken broken. But... I don't return anything. Because I know if I return something, it's just probably gonna get thrown away. So even if I don't so like something, or if it's not like as an efficient as a tool, if I would have gotten like a premium version, I still try to use it. I'm thinking. I legit don't think I ever returned anything ever. I legit, I legit can't think of anything. Yeah, I haven't returned anything. I'm like, I'm like thinking of things that I bought in the past two years. Because everything else was things that my parents bought, and you know, they, they return shit all the time. <laughs> they like getting their cash back. But then that would lead to them keeping literally every single receipt. And I would have to sort them every year for taxes and shit. It was horrible. Okay, I'm not saying your second check, Kim. I'm not gonna say that. I got this new fan and I hate it. Just get another fan. I think the only time where I would consider returning something is if it was like $100 or more. The thing that I should have returned was my initial capture card for my camera. It was the cam link and mine was glitched. So that's why during the first part of my... Like, for the first few months of my streams, like, anything that was blue would turn green on stream. So that was an L. I should have returned that. But I didn't. I was like, well, I just gotta deal with it. I made this purchase. I made to choose. I made the decision to choose this. I gotta stick with it. That's my mentality towards it. It's not the best, but... One of my friends worked for Amazon. And they worked in the return department. And they said there was so much shit every single day. And they said it was hell to like sort through everything. And like they said, people would return things like very used. Like you, you never know what's on shit. It barely blows air though. Well, if you want to return it, go for it, girl. Or maybe, you know what it could be? Different appliances use different voltages. So maybe double check if it's on the, if your outlet is the proper, proper voltage for it. Watch that be the solution and I save you a trip to the store. Imagine. I know some sciencey stuff. I watch YouTube videos.
Gleam. Whoa, that's weird. This music is only in my left ear. What the hell? Thought my headphones were broken, but it's just the music. Whoever made this Nintendogs comp needs to be fired. I'm not even kidding. She is 11 05. We're about two hours in for today. On pace for sure. Ain't no way the rest of this takes me two hours. I think I'll finish this, like I said, 7.05. 7.05 uptime. Or live split time. There are pros and demerits to painting on stream for these. When I do them off stream, I get them done faster, but I do get distracted a lot more. On stream, it takes a bit longer, about like an hour longer than it should. That's why I guess this one would take eight hours, because normally this painting would take six or six and a half if I were to paint it offline. That's why it's priced at, I think, 160 Because it's, 20, it's 25 per hour and then material and... Yeah, and then material cost and packaging cost. Because shipping these bad boys, since they're 12 by 16, they're just <laughs> larger than a flat rate box. <laughs> so it costs like fucking, instead of like 10, 15 dollars, it costs 15 to 20 to ship these. It sucks. I want to get to a point where shipping can be free for listings, but if I made shipping free, it would just be an included part of the actual painting cost, which I think would be unfair because that's what free shipping is. Whenever you see something listed as free shipping, they're just including the packaging and shipping cost in the actual listing price. That's a tactic that most companies will use, unless they have like a special deal with like a distributor. To get discounted rates or the like. So it's either shipping is paid by the client or included in the price. And I think it's better to do the client pays it because Shipping to Washington State is cheaper than shipping to New York. Because if I ship in Washington, it's literally just going in probably one or two trips. So it would cost the consumer probably like $10. Versus someone in New York, it would probably cost like 15 to 20. So why should someone who lives closer pay like a flat rate? Right? I don't know, it's very hard. What is nice, though, is that with the coupon codes, they're $10 off, so that pays for the majority of the shipping. Which I think that that is better. Because when I ship these paintings, I have to pay um, sometimes a few dollars for insurance. 
That way, like, if it gets busted or broken by the actual postal service, I'll get compensated and I can easily send out another one for free. I think out of everything related to the shop, shipping was the hardest to figure out. I'm excited, but I also kind of dread <laughs> if I get someone from a foreign country order. Because I, I can still ship wherever. I think Shopify allows you to ship from, like, fucking 80 plus countries. I think I have, like, 20 enabled right now. But my only fear is having these go through customs. Because depending what you're mailing, they gotta, like, open it up and shit. I don't think the codes for paintings are require them to open the package, but I'm still concerned. That's why a lot of like YouTubers and stuff don't ship internationally, because it costs more and also just requires more processing. But I know whenever I get something internationally shipped, I anticipate it will take longer. Like, I'm not gonna make a fit about it. It's a lot easier to send out envelopes, though. Like, whenever I have trading cards available. Those you can just stick in an envelope, and that's super easy. Because I, I used to do ATCs, artist trading cards, in the past. I've decided to not do ATCs anymore because obviously I don't want to like leak. <laughs> but I don't necessarily want my business PO box to like be public, like the address to be super obtainable. Because legally, in the states, with your business, like your website, and on your invoices, I think you have to put a phone number and an address. So, like, if people want to find it, they can, but... I don't want my business PL box to be bombarded with shit. <laughs> sorry. Oh wait, <laughs> so, I thought you said so. Sorry. So, I can't send you my kids in the mail to babysit? No, they wouldn't fit in the little mail slot. <laughs> I think the craziest thing... My sister works in the mail. I'm not gonna say what company. But she said the craziest thing she's seen, or rather she heard, were baby chicks. You can mail some live animals. Like some types of rodents, birds, fish. 
and like they're just put in the normal mail. It's mostly farmers and breeders who mail those things, but it's still like... Next year, regular like Amazon package or envelope might be a box full of chicks that shit everywhere. Nah, but whenever you're mailing animals, they're very strict on the regulations. You can only... I think for chicks, they have to be within a certain age. Like, you can't mail, like, live chickens. Like, full-grown chickens through the mail. You'd have to get it through, like, a truck. Oh, bees, too? You can send bees in the mail? I'm not telling you to do this, but I'm just sharing information. I think when you ship bees, they have to be, like, sleeping, though. Like, when you mail ladybugs. I was gonna send you a chicken. <laughs> I don't think you can send yourself through the mail can. Got him. My journal will hear about it. You know, I'm I bet I'm probably in your journal already, let's be honest. Dude the <laughs> Like I I jokingly say my therapist will hear about this, but the <laughs> the journal bit is funnier. You know, I'm not saying this to gas you up, Kim, but you definitely are, like, top five funniest chatters. And I'm not gonna say what place you are, just top five. I messed up that line a lot. Okay, we're a little over two and a half hours in. Not doing too bad on time. Just missed 11 11, it's 11 18. God damn it, why didn't anybody say nothing? Everybody's fired. I'm building a shelf right now, I'm so winded. Take a break. Drink some water. I used to think IKEA was the biggest scam. You know, paying... medium to high price for furniture that you have to build. 
But it was really fun building it, I will admit. Like, my dresser was fun. The not fun was the bed. Because I got it shipped. I think it arrived at like 5 p.m. And it took my dad and I like four hours to build it. And the shitty thing is, you can't go to sleep until the bed frame is done. That's why when you're moving in somewhere, always build your bed first. When we moved here, that was the first thing I set up. Because we moved- how? Sorry, I have a- I discovered a new pimple on my face. Ow, <laughs> that would hurt! <laughs> okay. You know when you like push the skin the wrong way? Oh. Anyway. We moved on Black Friday, so like... The day after Thanksgiving. And we started- we put everything in the truck at like 9 a.m. And we were- we had gotten everything off of the truck at like 2 p.m. And my sister wanted to rest. And I was like, no. I, Peason, am going to make my bed right now. <laughs> so as they're like messing around on the couch watching TV, I built my bed. And you know what? My sister had to stay up till 9 p.m. making her bed frame. So she had to take the L. As I was in my bed, all cozy, she still had to make her bed frame, because she chose to slack off. Why'd the music stop? There we go. I want to do something more upbeat. There we go. We had too much chill music today. I missed all the lines up here. Dang it. Also, there's this tiniest patch right here. It's like one millimeter by four where I missed varnish. Um. <laughs> I'll fix that. Oh, I gotta fix that before I put more black on. Fuck! I should be fired. It's a very non-noticeable place, but I will see it. And only the best for my clientele and my collectors. It's right here along the edge of that black line. Grr.
Okay, so I have to make like one drop of varnish and add some powder in. So I gotta go grab my tools and a mask. Because when you're handling mega powders, you don't have to wear a mask, but you should. Oops, wrong command. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can. That little spot right here. See how it's not reflecting? Damn. I thought I did it perfectly. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I gotta mix the tiniest little bit of varnish with the tiniest little bit of powder. I'm only gonna use the green to gold. This is a very small, small spot, and this is a cover-up operation. And no, I'm not a fit. One drop! <laughs> and the top! I'm gonna be tapping the cat. Nothing came out. I'm not using a brush because I don't want to overlap too much with the existing varnish. Okay, the deed is done. Nobody tell Kim. They're gonna know. Took that silly little mask off now, hell yeah. Yeah, once the varnish dries, it won't be as noticeable. I'm gonna have to retouch up the black line on that spot 
because there's a little bit of overlap from that new varnish. But we have to let that dry for a few minutes. Okay, I'm gonna use a small medium brush. I don't know what the size is, but I'm not gonna use a larger one like I did yesterday. I'm gonna fill in these two sections with my smaller brush just to be a bit more precise, and then I'll go back here and retouch up that black line. Okay, I lied. This might be like a 7 hour, 30 minute run. There ain't no way this is getting done in 30 minutes. Ain't no way! Sorry, keep hitting the mic. The cover-up operation is complete, she will never know. Now we're gonna film the remaining black space. Yeah, that missing patch of varnish will be noticeable, but... Oh well. That's the glory of hand painting. Yeah, the shimmer's not the correct ratio, but... It makes it more rare. It's kind of like the nickels that have three legs on the buffalo. It's a rare. Now we're filling in.
You watch this one clean stroke. Oh, come on! Ah, that was close. And then having a thing. Now just to show the demonstration, or just to demonstrate the difference of the gloss and the matte. Or, okay, that paint is still wet, that's why it's glossy, but this paint is dry. Like, that contrast is insane.
Sorry, that's the canvas tapping the table. I'm making my own beat. Something that I haven't, like, explained is the reason why I'm working at a table instead of a easel. So the reason why artists will paint at easels is because you get a more accurate angle for perspective. Because when you're sitting at a table, you're looking down at your desk at, like, a 35 to 45 degree angle. That's why sometimes if you're drawing and you're looking at your drawing flat, it looks fine, but then when you look at it straight forward, the angles are off because you're looking at it from a weird angle. So I don't have to use an easel when I'm doing these paintings because they're pattern work, so like perspective isn't a huge concern. But since it's a stencil that is made from the angle of a bird's eye POV, as long as the stencil is transferred correctly, then the angles will all be correct and straight. Like, I know me hunching over my desk isn't the best posture, but I can't sit up straight for too long. It is Pride Month anyway. Or by the way, not anyway. Ooh, that was horrible. I clipped that corner. It was Super Mario- oops! <laughs> Super Mario 3D World. Even though I still think 3D World has the best Mario music. I'll say it. sloppy with the larger brush now. The reason why I use my finger to wipe off the paint is because if I used a towel or a napkin, the fibers could get into the paint further. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> And you don't want to get, like, fibers in your paint, because that will lead to unwanted textures. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, stop! This brush is finding out more than it's supposed to, because it's old. But I like the size of it. Watch this one line. Clean. Okay, we're three hours in. About uh, two and a half hours of work time. And this might take eight hours total. This might not be a PB. My new guess, 7.45. Probably about an hour more.
My Odyssey! Skipping! Due to that clutch audio remover. Re due to that clutch audio movement, I messed up the line, but I cleaned it up. Look at my fingies. You watch this one line. Clean! But now that paint is too thick. Not worth it, not worth. I got a mute.
Uh, my sister needed the Pro Controller bag. Hi guys. Hi, go Bobo! Yeah, I started streaming at like 9. I wanted to get my hours in, hell yeah, brother. So early, yeah. It's. I might have to start streaming at like 10 every day. At the latest. Because it gets hot at like 11 at noon. Like right now it's 65 outside. Oh, Kobo, cool. well, you missed the lore. But the medication I'm on makes me more prone to heat stroke. So I have to be like very careful <laughs> about not overheating and stuff. Did you already have multiples of each painting made? Yes, I do. And I made the executive decision to just hold on to those and start painting paintings live. That way we get content and hopefully it'll attract more people to um, buy them, smile. Also, the next person to buy a painting gets VIP on this channel, not the main channel. it here. <laughs> Wait, who was the chatter who suggested people who buy get VIP? Was it Keelan or did I say it? Or was it you, Kim? Kim's been here all morning, thank you. It was me? <laughs> Man, I'm so smart. RPG. Yep, I'm right. Hell yeah, brother. Order 1002? Yeah, I've been booming. <laughs> no, no, no. But... <laughs> the reason why order numbers start at 1000 is because it's easier for bookkeeping. It's easier for bookkeeping, and then it also bids people into thinking I've had thousands of orders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the giveaways do not count as orders, they count as gifts. So like, when I file my taxes, it counts as... Gifts, not product. It's something that I learned when I filed my taxes. The paintings that were used in giveaways still count as paintings in circulation, like... In circulation meaning those who have a unit. Or in this case, a painting. I know this is technically order number two. <gasps> no! See, I accidentally scraped paint onto the green when I was scraping off bad paint.
Dude, imagine having a thousand orders. That would be crazy. Wait, that would be like a hundred thousand dollars. Holy shit. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That would be so many hours of work. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna change all my product listings in the description instead of saying replicas made I'm gonna say replicas in circulation I think that makes a bit more sense because if the public knows how many replicas are made then they can make more frauds versus how many are in circulation. Like, if somebody ever does try to scalp and sell my shit unethically. Me and Mac about to do that? I would know though! No, but who who would buy it though? Let's be honest. Like they would just go to the original website and see that it's cheaper. <laughs> if we're gonna like scalp anything, be. It have it be like Taylor Swift tickets or something. Those are actually rare. About to sell the KFC trash and say she was there? I mean, that could be a strat, right? But that means you'd have to fly to the UK. <laughs> I think you'd be at a net loss. Oh wait, maybe Keelan can do that for you. They open the package of customs and it's just trash. Ooh, Colleen! Look at that.
They were at 7 hours. My initial guess at the start of stream was 7.04. That ain't happening. This might be a 7.45 angle. song already. Uh, ooh, Mario Wonder. So low.
Scary music. Oh no, Bowser. Watch this one line. Clean.
7-Eleven. <laughs> I can't believe it's already noon, my goodness. Time flies. Can't believe it's almost done. It's getting there. Yeah, this painting would take a whole work day. It's almost like a real job. Dude, doing a painting in one sitting is impossible, though. I don't think... I mean, you could, but it's not a smart idea. Should do anything for eight hours straight. I've never liked how workday is eight hours. It's literally a, th a third or half of your wake hours. If you sleep for eight, you work for eight. Especially when you gotta commute. It's your almost all your waking hours. I work 10, holy shit. Do you work four tens or is it still five tens? Depends on the week, but I suppose 90 to 80 hours? Shit. That's crazy. When I become president, I'm gonna advocate for six hour workday. The only reason why workdays are so long is so companies have to hire less people, so less people potentially in benefits. That's the only reason why. I think it's really silly when people say the workday is so long because they want to be able to control us. They want us. They don't want us to do more things. And it's like, I don't think that's what it is, my guy. <laughs> like you're almost there, but you don't. You don't got the. You don't got it yet. <laughs> As long as you're comfortable where you're at, Kim, and you're getting a decent bag. I have the belief if... As long as you can riz, you can probably work anywhere. Like, I've heard anecdotal stories of, like, people, like, walking into companies, pretending they have an interview, and the manager just gives them an interview. Like... I can do that shit. I'm really good at lying. And I'm great at rizzing. But I would be too scared to ever do that. Cause like, what if I, like, I get a dribble? I'm the personality hire for sure. I'm smart, but... <laughs> nah, sometimes you need uplifting people. Because if you just got like a whole bunch of fucking nerds... Yeah, they'll get shit done, but... I mean, I feel like half of work is just like social dynamics. That's why usually, usually the charismatic person will get a promotion before the efficient worker. Which is shitty, but it makes sense, because, like, if you want somebody to work towards becoming, like, a potential face for a company, you'd want it to be, like, somebody who's charming.
And let's be honest, somebody who's a good worker is probably not a good leader. I asked my boss for a promotion? Yo, let's go! I wish you luck, Kim. You know, it never hurts to ask. Watching the brush, I'm not doing anything else. Seven seventeen. Eh, this this might be an eight hour painting. Oh. That just means I'm scamming myself on my labor cause. I'm exploiting my own labor. Okay. A little stretch. Guys, put your hands in the air. Like, you just don't care. When I said 920? No, it's not gonna be a 9 hour painting. It's not. It's not. Realistically, I got an hour left. 45 minutes if I'm speedrunning. But it could be 45. Okay, so... The first layer of black is down. As you can see, some parts aren't fully opaque. But, you know, it's like... Now let's see the glimmer. Ooh, see? The contrast of the the gloss to the matte is crazy. Also, Kim, I can send you pictures of it, like, outside. Because it's nice and sunny today if you want that. Cause like in person, or sorry, on camera, the green looks a bit more blue, but it's like a, it's a bright green. It's just my color correction on my camera's a bit off. Yes please? Okay, I'll do that later. Now, for the second coat of black. 7.19 on the clock. My goal is to get this done by 8 hours, so 40 minutes. Type 1 if you believe! Type 2 if you're a hate watcher. Or a realist. They're synonymous, basically. Oh, the winter world. Um, guys, click the follow button right now, and I'll say thank you.
I only see the unfollow button. Do I click that? If you click that, I will ban you. I'm not even kidding. But you realize you guys will joke about doing that, but then you can't follow for 10 minutes. Or, did I say you can't follow for 10 minutes? You can't chat for 10 minutes if you unfollow.
You and me were taller than peas. Oh yeah, you can see my head. <laughs> um, it's a bad angle.
kitchen. You know, I thought the black part was going to be quicker, but it's taking longer because I need to focus so I don't botch the varnish. I forgot. Me olvide. Pero está bien. I forgot, but it's okay.
This song is so nice. It's one of the menu musics. Seven fifty. It feels like the black section is going by quicker. but it's not. In my head, I feel like I'm working quick, but in reality, I am not.
I gotta mute. You know, I told y'all the ice cream truck went by. Wait, did I even mention? I don't think I did. It was really loud. I was gonna make it- I made the joke- oh, wait, I made the joke in my head, but I didn't say it. I was like, how dare that ice cream man go by? He should know that I'm on a diet. My sister walks in. She's like, you want ice cream? She holds up two ice cream bars. <laughs> that sucker, she paid four dollars each for him. But they were like candy based ice cream and I didn't like them. But it's still nice of her to offer.
And 801, PP ruined. Oh my god. It makes sense why this took longer though. I did explain a lot of my process yesterday. Bit of stubborn. Get in there. Oh, that line is completely crooked.
Now we can do the opposite facing lines. Almost done. Probably another 20 minutes.
This sounds like Toad's factory a little bit. I really hope this doesn't become a 902 painting.
five hours in today. I'm like 95% done.
For the final stretch, all the black second layer outlines are done. Now we can get the larger brush. This will be done in like five minutes.
Wait, no, age 58? Oh no. This could be a 902 run. Oh no. So close. the final sections. Final three. Oh no, I am gonna finish at 9.02. What the fuck? How'd she do? No, this is going to be a, one, a 901 angle. Wait, actually, probably, I forgot this part down here. Yeah, I'm gonna finish at 9.02. What the hell? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Stop the timer. Live split? No! Stop! It's not stopping. Oh, it's pressing the wrong key. Oh my god, I'm done. Holy moly. Five hours today? Four hours yesterday? 9.02.26. Oh my goodness. Holy... It's a full shift, man. I'm looking over to see if there's any parts that I need to repaint. 
And all the black looks pretty opaque. Holy moly. I'll rinse off my brush and then we'll do some close ups. So now I know if I paint them on stream, it'll take an hour or two longer than anticipated, which is what I thought. That was my guess. But I must, I'll still paint orders live. I like it. Because I need to get my stream hours up on this channel anyway. Look at my hands. Ew. Oh, I didn't drink my juice. Imagine I spilled. Yeah, this corner is still wet. Oh, there we go. That's a circuit board, 902. This is going to be the second circuit board in circulation. Meaning only two people in the world will have this, besides me. I have three of them. But two people in the world have this soon. There we go. You can see the gloss contrast against the matte finish. Oh my god, that looks crazy. Oh, wait. Wow. You can see a little bit of the gold shine. Because the reason why it's reflecting white is because the white is light. But under ambient yellow or sunlight, like, if you have a, a yellow light in your room that's not direct, it'll have a gold to green shimmer. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna end stream. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. 902.26! Okay, I gotta screenshot that. Shift, oops. Shift, command, S. There we go. Okay. I would, oh, this paint stinks. It smells like paint. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out today. Once again, thank you to Kim for ordering this painting. It will be sent out to you tomorrow. Yay! Guys, if you're a fan of art and if you're a peace and fan, make sure you have my website bookmarked. Wait, hi, Kim. Wait. Came back at the perfect time? Yeah, dude, I literally finished at 9.02 uptime. That's crazy. Are you a psychic? I was gonna DM you a screenshot of the stream. That's insane. 9.02 exactly. Like, what the fuck? Okay, anyway. This has to dry overnight. So this will be sent out tomorrow. Um... Guys, bookmark the website, exclamation point, shop and chat. Bookmark it, please! Please. I need the clicks! Okay, the plan is simple. I'm not gonna stream tomorrow. I got shit to do. And by that, I mean all of your mothers. I should be live on the main channel on Tuesday. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I will be live on the main channel. Uh, on Tuesday. I don't know when I'll go live on this channel again. I think during the shareholders meeting, whenever the relaunch for the website is, like, completely done, that'll be a stream on the main channel. We'll talk about what we want to do in terms of art streams. Because I think this channel is for art enjoyers, it's not for me. Because art is fun. But I'd rather do things that you guys want to see on this channel. So that could be portraits, that could be like challenges, Pokemon, what have it. Um, I'm gonna be working on stamp lino prints, mini 4x4 acrylics, or 4x4 
4 by 4 house paint paintings. Those will be ready for launch, hopefully by the end of June. Because I'm either going to do a floral series for this for the trading cards, or a stained glass series. I'm deciding what I want to do. Because now that I have those stained glass books, I can like research the style a little bit more. So yeah, hoping by end of June, those will be ready. And when I'm doing like actual stamp carving and making the block prints for the trading cards, that will be done on stream. Because if I'm going to launch the sketch cards, the price will range 10 to 25, depending on how long they take. Um, I want to have at least like 10 prepped for launch. So that will be done on stream. But any type of painting, like whether it be a 4x4 or a 12x16, those will be done on stream per order. Is what I'm deciding from here on out. But any of the lino prints, like the 2.5x3.5 cards or 4x6s, those will be made preemptively. So yeah, there we go. The painting's dry now. Yay! Ah, oh, that looks crazy. Man, that looks so cool. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you on this channel. Who knows when. Make sure notifications are turned on. And I'll see you guys on the main channel on... Tuesday! Okay, no end screen. Goodbye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Kim. Once again, thank you, Kim. You helped buy more art supplies with this painting, so thank you. Okay, Pearl, goodbye. <laughs>